Hi, Clara. Hello. So, Clara, you're a London girl. Have you always lived in London? Born and bred. I lived in Manchester for two years. How I was that? I attended university. I was a dropout. Um, only because I am very into my work and I started working loads in London. Um, I was doing history of art. I can always go back. Did you enjoy history of art? I did. I kind of thought that I'd be able to do practical stuff. Um, it was all very theory based and learning about you know, 18th century stained glass, and that's not really what I wanted to do. I, I like painting and drawing, so I don't know why I thought it would be practical because it's history of art, but um, <laughs> there's lots of things that I think my parents involved me in as a kid, which I now realise are great, you know. Yeah. Sort of when you're going camping in. and hippie communes and Hazelmere and, <laughs> um, you know, but going acting. to Bob Dylan concerts on a school night, age seven, <laughs> and seeing my dad there and him going crazy and my mum saying, what are you doing? And really now I realise it's a great education. What's <laughs> yours specifically into? Um, there's a new band called Splash, and you're great, look out for them. What oh, will do. New Zealanders. New Zealand. Everyone's from New Zealand these days, bands. Yeah? Yeah, I'm always so hearing about anything. cool new New Zealand bands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of your favourite designers and why? Um, I wear a lot of vintage stuff, so some of it might be designer stuff, it could be older stuff, you know, old, old Gucci and Versace. Chanel of all eras in the modern stuff is just always so classic. Um, my grandma left me a grey quilted leather Chanel bag, which is just like, I'm terrified of bringing it anywhere. Last time I bought it somewhere, someone spilled a pint of beer all over it. So, um, that's sort of my most cherished designer item, I suppose. And then um, I wear a lot of jewellery. Um, Dominic Jones, my favourite jewellery designer. Vivian Westwood, I've got this awesome. Oh, God, see, it's an ring. But then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. amazing. I love that. You don't see that? No. I didn't realise it did that. Uh, actually, I was in fabric nightclub. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a bit underweight at the time. I think I was 15. <laughs> and uh, one of Sarah Leon's actually old assistants came up to me and told me that I liked to be a model and asked me. And I, I remember writing down my number with an eyeliner on a little scrap piece of paper and um, she obviously lost it and then I, I've been scouted a few other times since then never really wasn't that majorly into it or interested and and then met Sarah Leon at Daisy Lowe's birthday party who's been a friend of mine since we were kids um, and she was just saying so what agency are you with now and blah blah and I was like I'm not I never went for it in the end and she's like what come like Give it a go with me, so it's already on like a very friendly basis, and it's a really kind of family vibe with us. I feel. Is there a part that you're insanely jealous of not being able to play? Oh, I've said this about a million times, but I love Charlie's The Running Monster. Yeah. Also, that was amazing. She's uh, flying the flag for the model turned into actress, and it not being a, an issue and not being a slash thing going on. Yeah. Which seems to be used as a derogatory term. Um, but I just love the way that she's, I think she's one of the most beautiful women ever. And yeah. that she made herself look so horrendously ugly <laughs> and this really harrowing, awful part about a serial killer woman. Yeah. Um, I, I like playing baddies. So, Clara, what are you going to be up to for the rest of the day? Um, I'm going to be dodging this lovely weather that we have in London. Do you secretly love the weather? Um, you know what, I secretly do. When I was in LA, which is obviously notoriously the sunniest place all year round, um, everybody's saying to me, oh, you don't want to go back to London, you know, it's just going to be all raining there. And I was like, I have never been so excited to feel the rain on my head. <laughs> as much as I loved it, it's like, this is home. And I don't know if it was me jinxing it because something really bad's going on. It's just been raining for two months, is it? I know, and I don't think it's going to stop. Yeah, and apparently it's going to keep going through the whole of July, but um, I wouldn't want to learn the other way. <laughs> <laughs>